Hello and welcome to Functions 2.1 Matching Graphs. Okay, so today we're gonna we're gonna basically read a story, yeah, and we're gonna match it with the graph. And based on the characteristics of the the graph that that relate to the story, then we're able, we're gonna be able to pick the right graph, hopefully. Okay, so let's see. Number one, Kaleo started walking slowly to work, knowing he had given himself plenty of time to get there. But after stopping to talk to a friend along the way, he realized he was late and ran to make it to work on time. Okay, so the things that you want to make sure you understand about these graphs are the, the labels of each axis are kind of important. So the y-axis, that's going to be known as distance from home. Okay, so that word from is super important because it means that when the graph is pretty much on the bottom, yeah, touching the x-axis. You know, when it's, when it's touching the x-axis, that means he's at home. When the graph rises, that means he's going away from home. So he's not at his house anymore. Yeah, and you want to make sure you look at the characteristics like why is why is certain parts of the graph flat? Why are certain parts of the graph um, steeper than the other? Why is the graph going up as opposed to down? Okay, so those are all the kind of characteristics you want to make sure you understand so that you can match it with the uh, with the story and as far as what what parts of the story can relate to the graphs that we're going to match it up with. Okay, so in this story it says Cleo walks slowly to work. Yeah. Then he stops to talk to a friend. So the part that you want to make sure that you key in on here is when he's stopping to talk to his, talk to his friend, is, is he getting any farther or closer to home when he's stopping to talk to his friend? Yeah, hopefully you say, yeah, he's not getting any farther from home. He's not getting any closer to home because he's pretty much stationary. He's just talking to his friend. They're not walking together. They're just cruising on the side, talking to each other. Yeah, so you want to look for a portion of the graph that's flat. Okay, and the reason why it's flat is because, yeah, like I said, time's going to keep going on, right? Time's going to keep moving, but they're not going to increase or decrease in distance from home. So you're just going to look for a flat part of the graph. So there's two choices that we could possibly have. We could use either A, or actually, I'm sorry, three. We could use A, C, or D, because they all have flat portions of their graph. Okay, so A and C, I'm sorry, A and D have a lot in common because they actually both go down. At the end of their graph whereas C it goes up after the flat portion okay so make sure you understand now what I said earlier that when the line hits the x-axis or the bottom that means they're at home so in A and C situation when the graph goes back down to the bottom it means that the person goes back home yeah so is that what the story says that after talking to the friend um, Kaleo goes back home no, it doesn't say that. It says he realized he was late and he ran to work to make it on time. Okay? So the slowly part is going to be a, a gradually increasing line and the, the running part is going to be a little steeper line. So that would match up with actually C pretty well. So if, if you were thinking C as I was explaining things, then good job. You were on the dot. Okay, let's look at number two. Not wanting to be late for school, Kaleo left his house running in an attempt to make it to his bus, bus stop on time. After waiting for a few minutes at the bus stop, he realized it was Saturday and he walked back home. Okay, so this kind of is going to have that exact same characteristic that we saw in problem one, where when Kaleo is waiting, he's not moving at all. He's not getting farther from home. He's not getting closer to home. He's just staying in one spot. So we're going to once again look for the flat portion of the graph which we now know cannot be c because we already used c's graph so it's either going to be a or d okay and a or d actually makes sense because a and d those graphs both return home okay so how do we figure out which graph it is because they both have that portion of the graph where where kaleo is just cruising at the bus stop waiting for the bus stop and then realizing that it's saturday so there's there's he doesn't have to go to work or, or school, I guess. Is it school or school? Yeah, I'm sorry, school. He doesn't have to go to school. So the graph goes back down to the bottom, back home. Okay, so I think you might want to take into account speed. So in A, Kaleo goes faster in the beginning and slower at the end. In D, Kaleo is going slow in the beginning and fast at the end. Okay, so which story matches the graph? Yeah, so it says, not wanting to be late for school, Kaleo left his house running. So Kaleo starts off running. So you're going to look for a graph that's steeper in the beginning. And then it says, after waiting a few minutes at the bus stop, he realized it was Saturday and walked back home. So 
walking versus running, you're probably going to see a little bit um, less steep of a line at the end of the graph. So that probably matches up with A a little bit better. Okay, Because D is going to be slowly in the beginning, fast at the end. Whereas A is going to be fast in the beginning and slow at the end. Okay, and that matches two story a little bit better. Okay, all right, let's look at number three. No, I'm sorry, not, not three, five. Okay, so Kaleo set out to walk his dog to the park. Halfway to the park, he realized he left his dog at home. Oh my goodness, that is not good. Okay, after going back home to get his dog, they ran to the park together. Okay, so the kind of characteristics you're going to look for are Walking to the park, I guess it's going to be at a leisurely pace, so not, not super steep because he's not running. And then you're going to look for a characteristic set that shows going back home because he had to go back home to get the dog. And then at the end, it says ran to the park together. So at the end of the graph, you're going to look for a graph that's actually pretty steep. Okay, so is there a graph that starts off at home, goes up gradually? then runs back home and runs back to the park. Okay, so is there a graph that kind of matches that kind of characteristic? Well, you might be thinking, oh, he kind of does that thing where he goes halfway, he realizes he forgot the dog, so he goes back. Oh, actually, E doesn't work because does E actually reach home? No, E doesn't reach home at all, yeah? So you want to actually have a graph that actually goes back home and then goes back out again. Yeah, and the only one that's going to do that is letter B. Okay, so if you guess letter B, then good to go okay okay six Ooh, short problem that's the scary ones because not as much information and hopefully we can actually figure it out so let's look at six so Kaleo walked to his friend's house hung out for a while then ran home just in time for dinner okay so walked and running so you're gonna look for a difference in in, in slope I guess you're gonna look for a difference where walking is gonna be a little bit more gradual kind of a increase or decrease and running is going to be a little bit some, something a little bit more steep, okay? And hung out for a while. Ooh, that looks like it's going to be that flat portion. So seeing how we got rid of the two flat graphs in the in the first couple of problems, then there's only one left. So I guess that makes our choice pretty simple, yeah? So it has to be D, I guess. Yeah, doesn't match. So walking, so that's going to be a slow, gradual increase in the beginning, then flat on the, in the middle of the graph. And then running back home. So yeah, I think that matches D pretty well. So yep, it sure does. Letter D. Okay. So the rest of the problems that are that are not that are not completed, I think so that's like three, four, seven, and eight. Uh, just work on those for homework. Okay. All right. So I will see you later. Bye bye.